Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. It's a tasty, cozy recipe perfect for a fall weekend. Here to share her recipe for cheesy onion bread, we welcome back kids cooking instructor, Julie Mary. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> it smells so good happy in here. Happy to be here. It smells oh really gosh. good in here. This is a great way to maybe introduce some picky eaters to an onion. Absolutely. I'm there right now, so I'm, I'm thrilled with this recipe. Yeah, if you can get them to try it, they're most likely going to want a second piece. I okay. promise. I, I've been making this with kids for years, and it's something that my repeat students still talk about. So Amazing. Just letting you know. Okay, <laughs> where do we begin? So we're going to make the dough real quick. Um, so I'm going to have you grab that little green handle okay. teaspoon. We're going to do two teaspoons of the baking powder. Okay. And I'll join you and do the baking soda, this which is, is cool. They're two different shapes of the same yeah. measurement. Yeah, the skinny ones work really great That's in little awesome. you know, spice jars yeah. and things like that. Okay. And then um, in here is the salt, so you'll also use a teaspoon, but we only need one teaspoon okay. of salt. I'm going to move these out of the way. So far, so good. So far, so good. So that's right. just our dry stuff. I had two cups of flour in here. Um, and it, this all makes one loaf. This okay. recipe is on the website, but um, this makes one loaf. It's easily doubled. I Every time I make this with kids, I have to double it. Oh, okay. Because it just goes so fast. Great. Um, looking like we have power. So I like to just get the dry stuff a little mixed. Um, chilled butter. Mm. So this is kind of similar to anything like a pie crust or anything where you want your, your, your wet stuff chilled. Excuse sure. Me. All right, so um, I'll just drop this in. What I do is just pulse it a few times um, after a couple of additions. And then we're gonna add our buttermilk. This is already measured out. Okay. So it's gonna be one cup of buttermilk. And this is just one stick of butter. Okay. But it's still cold. I had it in my little cooler. And is it easier to, yeah, have it kind of pre-separated and then yep. just drop it in like that? I also, teaching kids, you have to have it cut up ahead of time so everybody can have their piece. Mm. Everybody likes to push the buttons. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Oh my gosh, the arguments over the button <laughs> pushing. Wow. Let me tell you. Oh, I've heard them. Okay. So I'm gonna have you pour. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna pulse it while you kind of just slowly pour it down the top. All right. And we're just gonna kind of get it into a loose, very sticky dough. Ooh. I feel a lot of responsibility with the buttermilk <laughs> here. Major Perfect. ingredient. That's perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna have you grab, move this over here, um, just kind of put some flour on okay. that board. Um, I'm gonna do the honors of getting my hands really messy. Okay. And we'll spread out the dough. Is this way too much or not enough? No, I think we should probably do a little more. I'm gonna kind of okay. do it in an angle and just pat it out with my hands. All right. Mm-hmm. Hi. Right. Beautiful. Something like that? Yeah. So what we do is, or what I like to do, I should say, is um, have it spread out about uh, twice as wide, it doesn't have to be perfect, and about twice as long. Okay. And then what I do is I just take my little dough cutter and cut it in half both ways. So we're gonna make four layers of dough and layering oh. Gruyere cheese and caramelized onions with a little bit of poppy seed in there. Fun. Um, in between each layer. So okay. I'm gonna get my hands, as you can see. That is really real sticky. sticky. Okay. And I guess I should have probably done this ahead of time, mm. but that's okay. So, let me get this out on here, and then if you'll take that spoon and do more flour over the top of it, because okay. as you can see, it is incredibly gooey. Sprinkle the fairy dust. Yes. Okay. And then give me some fairy dust. Okay, good. How, is this enough? That's probably good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, this is real easy to work with in the sense that it's very soft. It's it not looks a super firm soft. dough yeah. or anything. Why don't you hit me one more time with that flour okay, okay. on top, and then I'm just going to start patting it out to a nice long rectangle. Beautiful. Thank you. So, this is what I did earlier today when I baked it at home. I just kind of made it a little bit whiter than the pan, you know, okay. just about twice as white. It doesn't have to be perfect because in the oven, of course, it rises and yeah. spreads, so it's not a big deal. And then I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Kind of sticky, but a pretty easy dough to work with. I'm thinking yep. about the little one's hands getting in there. Yep. And okay. everybody loves working with dough, so yes. I'm just going to do about like that. Now okay. we're going to start to layer. Oh, man. So, I'm going to do this part, and you're going to spoon we're the gonna do goodies this in three parts okay. we're going to do three it's into thirds so i'll get the first layer in i'm just going to kind of press it out again this stretches and spreads okay. in the pan so just do about a third of that or so i can use my hands to spread it out easily is that Beautiful. enough yes Ish. one more dollop in there perfect okay 
cheesy. So we have about a third of the cheese. Okay. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can also use um, cheddar. You can use any cheese that is a good melting cheese. Gruyere is just classic for and that. It's so good, so I, creamy. I will say kids um, aren't as prone to liking it raw as then when it's melted. When oh, it's melted, it just becomes, I think, mellower. That's true. It does have a little bit more bite to it when it's mm -hmm. not that ooey gooey stuff. Yeah. Okay. okay. This is good teamwork in the kitchen. The yeah. Layering. Okay. We're getting this done. All right. Here, I'll spread that out Go. with my hands, and then you can just use the rest of that up. Okay. And then we do one layer on top, and the last thing we're gonna do is brush melted butter on Ooh, top. Oh, but of course. So I'm just gonna pat it out flat. I like to do, um, also, I'm gonna let you grab that. My hands okay, are perfect. I'm gonna let you grab that. Just do it, we don't need all that butter, just so like a light little layer of butter over the top. There is already, you know, a stick of butter in the dough. Okay. And then we cooked the onions in butter too. Oh, so. well good so for shortage. us. I'm happy for us with all that <laughs> butter coming our way. The last okay. little thing we're gonna do before we bake it, if you'll just pour a little of that in your hand okay. and just sprinkle it over the top, it's gonna, it's poppy seeds. It's just gonna give a little color, a little nuttiness, a little crunch. That's it. Beautiful. Okay. Here we go. You can also, if you would like to, like I did on this loaf, which my hands are filthy, I'm gonna just show you. I just did a little light layer of caramelized onions down the middle just for decoration. Um, so you can do that. Yummy. Are you Are you ready to taste? I'm ready. Okay. Let me grab this towel that happens to be under here oh, so perfect. I can not have raw everything. Gotta but there's dive no, into there's no egg in it, so we're fine. Oh, that's true. So I grease the sides and then I do parchment on the bottom of the pan so it comes out. That was beautiful. easily perfection. And also it's been cooling down for about an hour in it the pan. It smells so good. <laughs> oh my god. I can't wait for you to try it. To leave some for your crew too. Okay. I can hear the uh-huh in uh -huh, the background. Uh-huh. It's happening. It's okay, happening. Okay. So you can kind of see a little bit of the layers. Yum. Um I will just cut these. Yeah, a little bite-sized moment. Okay. Okay. Mm. And let me know. Oh, it's still warm. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh my gosh. The onion is <laughs> so happy. Now, how long can you keep this around for? Um, it's well, gonna get, it's if it doesn't get eaten all the way. Exactly, mm -hmm. it's the best today. Um, you can keep it around a couple days, but it's gonna get real stale after a It's day. so soft, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is, okay, I'm getting the kids <laughs> on, on the onions. It's gonna happen. We'll have this recipe and more information on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this. Mm.